Hi folks, uh, I hope you're all doing well. It is Sunday the 16th of August. Uh, I had my hair cut yesterday, so I had it cut at the back mostly. Uh, a little bit trimmed off the top and some weight taken out of it, but it's we're, we're just growing this front bit out. So it won't, it will probably stay sort of this length at the back, but I just want to bring the front of it down like I used to have it, if you been with me for a while, I used to have longer hair. Um, yeah, so it needs dyeing again, but yeah, it's um, better at the back than it was. So I'm just going to keep growing it and see where we go. Um, but I thought I'd pop on because I've got some finishes to show you. So I put up on Friday like a snippet of my week. Um, just because finding time like each day to sit down in front of the camera was just not happening but there were a few things I could take snippets of and I thought I'd do that and then just lay uh, audio over the top of it like um, Angela from Yarn Yarns does. Hi Angela, uh, I hope your back's feeling better. Um, so yeah I thought I'd pop a few you know clips up so I'm not not putting videos out. Um, yeah, got the opportunity now to do a quick video. I had my hair cut so I feel better. And yeah, I'm waiting for Jack to finish watching a YouTube video so he'll then consent to do something with me. Paul and Toby are playing Monopoly in the dining room. Uh, I will not play Monopoly with Paul. He's not nice. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's not nice when he plays Monopoly. So I said many years ago, I won't play with you anymore. Not in a, in a Mardi way, but he's just... He, yeah. It, it doesn't make it fun remotely so yeah and he's made the kids as bad as he is they're like proper ruthless so when I play with them they're trying to make deals with me and, and if not they'll try and bankrupt me I'm like oh you're all too harsh anyway so let me show you what I've been doing I made two more llamas these are to finish off an order I had for a rainbow of llamas so I've done the green blue and the last time I showed you purple pink and yellow so the purple pink and yellow have gone to the new home these two are waiting um, and they're all excuse me all going to be a Christmas gift for the girl in question then I am I'm waiting I put an order in with purple Linda crafts for some more oh what's it called King Cole cotton soft crush uh, I made the baby blanket that I showed you, the Rings of Change. And then uh, I told you a friend of mine I used to work with contacted me and said she would like one. She said she wanted it in this colour, so I used the leftover to start making the Rings of Change for her. Um, and I was waiting for her payday so she could send me the money and I would order the rest of the yarn. But in the meantime, I'd sent the link to Purple Linda and said, look, are you sure you like the waves colour is that what you want and she's come back and picked a different colour so I've got another Rings of Change part way worked up in the waves colour that I can't finish because I've run out of yarn so I've ordered 10 balls of what colour does she want? Shell I think it's called it's like a nice grey and brown it's really pretty um, so I've ordered 10 balls of that for her blanket and then 2 balls of the waves so I can finish off the second Rings of Change blanket I started and put that up for sale or something, I don't know. Uh, or keep it for the next baby that comes along. But while I was waiting for her to get paid and stuff, I, I ordered from Purple Linda last Sunday. Sunday just gone. Um, I've not had a dispatch notification yet. I don't know if they send dispatch notifications out, uh, but it does say on the website to leave 21 days or something. Did you hear that? That was a noisy whatever it was that went past. But in the meantime, I'm getting distracted. Uh, in the meantime, I thought I would use some yarn. So I pulled this yarn out uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe more, when I started doing the uh, Bag of Day crochet blanket using the Owl Yarn Cake in fruit colour, which I can't find anyone who's got some. The lady who was. In hospital and was going to message me when she was out of hospital hasn't so I assume she's you know she's still 
not sorting woolly stuff out so that's you know obviously that's fine um so i've left that by the wayside but i pulled this is robin chunky um that i bought from our local haberdashery shop that was closing down oh god last year they were last year early this year i'm not sure but um yeah they were closing down so i went and bought eight balls of this because that was pretty much all they had left um so i don't generally buy chunky unless it's for a particular pattern but i just cleared the shelf of what they had um it's upside down that's good and i keep hearing uh or keep seeing uh the blankets jackie from hooking in good company is making and she makes the drunken granny blanket and i like the look of it and i thought ooh, i'll give it a try i did try start making the tea tea house shawl which i really wanted to make and i thought oh, i'll try it with this oh yeah don't like the pan <laughs> it was no my stitch count was out and then i got so far into it and realized i was increasing incorrectly and then when i fixed my increases so i was doing it right it went like that and they went because i'd added in the right number of increases after not inc oh, it was a mess so that all got pulled out and i started this so i had three balls of the darker brown it's a lot more sort of chocolatey brown than it's showing on screen i had three balls of that and was that right three balls of that five balls of the lighter brown so I just thought I'd do three stripes and six, three, six. And because it's chunky on, and I, I wasn't sure what hook to use. I used a nine mil hook, so it is quite open and quite big. So it's about 40 centimeters across. And I've just measured it's 55 centimeters long. At uh, 55 centimeters, 55 inches, Kim, come on. So it's, it's a good, blanket uh, I was working on it was when it was very hot so I tried not to have it touch me at all um, but it whipped up in like two three days um, yeah super so I've washed it hung it out on the line and it was folded up in my room out of the way but I thought I'd bring it down and show you then on Friday I had delivery of some yarn from Aldi. It's the first time I've ordered online um, for Aldi for yarn. This was the yarn they had on a few weeks ago, but it was all online only. So they had the, I think it was 12 balls of the blanket yarn for £10.99 or something like that, which was a good offer, but it wasn't the colours I wanted particularly. Yeah, particularly. Um, and I ummed and ahed over this box and then I remembered that Tobin had asked me for a load of minis, uh, mini amigurumis from the 100 days of mini amigurumi um, volume 1 and 2 that Kim got me. Hi Kim! Uh, Kim of Kim Crafty's Corner. And I thought well I'll order it. So it's 72 balls of uh, 25 grams. So. Let's try and find one I haven't used. Use this one. So they're Diddy. They're so cute. I'll show you all the different colours. So you get 36 colours, and as it came, each like set of two colours was next to each other. So and then there's a, a second row in the you know second level. But I um, swapped them all out so I can see one of every colour. And I've been working on some stuff for Toby. Oh, I did this first. It's just out of normal uh, acrylic. This is We Rex, and I'll put a link to the pattern below. But he, this was on his list of things he wanted. So I pulled this out, and it took a couple of hours, if that. So, and he picked the colours pink and yellow. So that's that. Then, where is it? I decided to go through the list of stuff he wanted. Now, I didn't realise when I ordered this box that the um, yarn is actually 100% cotton. It just says, let's have a look, so crafty, knit and pearl amigurumi yarn, 72 times 25 gram balls, 36 uh, assorted colours. And I didn't really look any further than that, just sort of, uh, you know, little balls of yarn in lots of different colours. So I'd have to pull my yarn cupboard apart and potentially not have all the colours I wanted. 
Amigurumi means Japanese word which describes small knitted or crochet characters. 100% cotton yarn is perfect for this as it strong holds its shape and is soft to work with. This is not soft to work with. So yeah, it's not soft. And it is a little bit splitty. So it's not it's not premium cotton, but then again it's for amigurumi, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um so these are all from the mini 100 days of mini amigurumi volume one i think um so this is jellyfish which is the first one i made so this is for tobes and then i made oh i've mixed them up now right i made this which is a uh, mint choc ice cream cone which is for jack because he you know can't make one and him for Tobin without making it for Jack. So then I made a mint choc ice cream cone for Tobin. Then I made quite a few bits for Tobes. Um, what did I do next? I'm sure I've made something else. Where's he put that? I made him the peas in a pod. I like this dude's face. Look at it. And they come out um, so he can play about with them. I don't actually know what he's going to do with all of these. They were, they were all in a row in front of his telly, but I grabbed them all. Um, so there he is, it's just peas in a pod. What did I make next? Then I made the, uh, I'm not using safety eyes for them all because I don't have enough pairs of, I think I use six mil safety eyes. Um, yeah, and I don't want to order more eyes. So I started doing the, the little kawaii faces on them. So that's a sushi roll that was on his list. Then I made, uh, it's upside down. Made a pop tart. So, pretty cute. And this morning I made a watermelon slice, which is super cute. All the little seeds on it. And then I've just finished and given to Jack, but I had to fetch it to show you a little light bulb. So they're both fairly pleased with, you know, every hour or so I pop in their room and give them another toy or whatever. Um, but yeah, and they're working up quite quickly and they're fairly easy patterns and stuff. So there are, there's a couple I've skipped past in his list that I don't really fancy doing at the minute, just because I think he can't bother. But then, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I'll keep plodding through his list until the yarn for the blanket comes and then I will put some effort into that. I have no more orders because the llamas are done. It can be picked up whenever because it's Christmas present. There's no there's no rush for it. Um, yeah, I've got anything else on order. Um, work was not fun last week. Uh, and... Uh, I was sort of struggling with the, I, I could hardly keep, not hardly keep, I was struggling to try and keep interacting with the boys as much as I would normally do, um, you know, try and check in on them and give them ideas of stuff to do and, you know, keep them off screens a bit if I can, but I just, uh, you know, before I knew it, it was like midday and I, I pretty much got them broke but obviously got them breakfast and they got home. but I'd given them a drink at about half past ten and then I was like are you lot still okay um because work was just very very busy and quite stressful um but Paul is off for a week now with them so you can yeah hopefully they'll have things to do the weather is supposed to be a bit rubbish though it was really hot last week really hot um but we didn't make it out after work, uh, like to the park or anything like we had done before. Um, I had, I felt sick all day Monday. I think it was, well, it was just so hot, but I did not feel well at all. Um, what did we do Tuesday? I think we had to go and get something from the shop on Tuesday and that was, we were like melting. What else did we do? Had migraine Friday got the like blur in front of my eyes and Paul had a migraine yesterday and he didn't sort of surface looking almost 
human until we were getting up at two o'clock in the afternoon. It was it looked so poorly. And it, I, I took the kids out to the shop with me to get a few bits and to pick up a present for my nephew. Um, so I took the boys with me in the morning and then I had to have a haircut. So I was trying to fit everything around him, not being, <laughs> not being very well at all. Um, yeah, he picked up throughout the day, managed to keep some food down, and he feels okay today, so that's a relief. I've done the ironing today. I left it last week. Uh, to be honest, it's only Paul's uh, stuff that needs ironing, because he's the only one that's going out to work. Kids aren't back at school yet, so I haven't got uniform to contend with, and I'm just wearing, like, jeans and T-shirt. I have I've expanded my T-shirt collection since I've been at home. Uh, I like the band Ghost. Um, they're the lead singer is Swedish, I'm not sure about the others, but they're classed as like a metal band. I don't really think I like metal music, but if they are, then I do. I don't know. Um, but the boys and Paul bought me a t-shirt for my birthday or Mother's Day, um, which was cool. And then I saw another t-shirt that I wanted and I ordered it and then I saw another t-shirt. So I've got a growing like band t-shirt collection. I have got a very old My Chemical Romance t-shirt from when I saw them at Download Festival in 2005. It still fits me. <laughs> I, think I, was, I was quite a bit skinny in 2005, but it's still, I can still get in it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm buying the clothes I tend to be wearing at the minute, which is all black t-shirts. Hey ho. So I think that's it. My phone's trying to talk to me again. Every time I have like a work conversation or I speak near my phone, it starts saying, I just need your permission for something. I don't know what it is and I don't know what the trigger thing is to wake the phone on. It's, um, it's a Samsung phone. So my other one I had was an honour and I used to have to say, dear honour, to wake it up. And that didn't happen very often. And then I sounded strange when I was trying to wake it up. Samsung S10e. I had to get a new cover for it because I had one with um, like holes in the back, like lots of circular uh, circle holes in it. But I've actually managed to get a scratch like through one of the holes, which was quite annoying. Um, and there, there was Samsung. It was a Samsung case. I had two, one in blue, one in black, and the plastic ended up going so brittle they were snapping. So. I ordered like a rubbery one. Anyway, you probably don't really give a monkeys about that, so sorry. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Jackie of Hawking Company for doing August Augusteria. Uh, there's some videos I need to catch up on from Z. Hey Z. Uh, I'm behind on your Vida. And that's it oh no i've got to watch cody hey cody cody knits has got a new video out i haven't finished watching needles at the ready what was i watching that kept me from doing oh i watched the i am patrick swayze documentary that was on sky we've, we've got now tv so get for now anyway we get sky documentaries channel and my hairdresser had said she watched it and i watched it and cried i like patrick swayze um, so yeah, I was quite. It was good, but it was sad. Uh, and now I'm sort of, I'm watching uh, Joker with um, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. If you've seen the Book of Life, that's where that Joaquin comes from. Um, but yeah, I'm watching that. I'm about forty, fifty minutes in. It's good. It's um, yeah, he plays it well. It's, yeah, I like it so far. Anyway. I'm going to probably stop waffling at you. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're finding things to do in the heat. If you are in the heat, it's raining today, so it's a lot nicer. Um, I hope you're keeping well and safe and everything like that. And I will be back maybe when I get the yarn from Purple Linda. It's only two different shades of yarn. Uh, I might come back and show you the progress I'm making on the Rings of Change. This bit of hair, I'm sure it knew where it wanted to be before I had it cut and now I've had it cut and it's like, oh, it's sitting in the middle of your forehead. So I'm going to go see what Jack's doing because he was supposed to be coming downstairs. 
He wanted to go and play outside. I had to tell him it was raining. Or remind him it was raining. We haven't been outside today, so he knows. Anyway, take care everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye.